All right, welcome back to The Road Show this morning in The Buzz, which is brought to you by The Comedy Connection. If you don't already know what you're getting your mom for this Sunday, well, shame on you, okay, right? Okay, exactly. Because time is running out, but if you want to pay close attention, you may already know what she really, really wants. That's right, because in a new poll, 71% of mothers say they drop hints to let <laughs> their partners know what they want for Mother's Day. 67% of them even create wish lists to make it even easier. That's right, so out of the men spoken to, 48% said that they see that they have plans on getting jewelry. Okay. 39% of them are planning on getting an edible gift. Okay. 36% say they were thinking of clothing or accessories. Okay, but moms are saying they would rather a, uh, have a handmade gift. Oh, I'll make a card. Like a little card, <laughs> yeah. Uh, baked cookies or a spa day. Now, 49% moms say the most meaningful thing others can do is take care of household chores or other tasks yes. around the house. Yes. So what do you want? What is the what is the thing that you really, like if, if, uh, we said this morning, yeah. if I could say, Audrey, here's your Mother's Day present. This yeah. is exactly what you wanted. What is it? You know, I wanted a, um, a personalized necklace. Okay. Um, like there's one, this one brand, like Maya Brenner. Right, right. And actually there's a lot of brands out there, but they are personalized, customized necklaces with the boys in Victoria's initials okay. that you can wear all the time. You Got can it. work working out, in the shower. Like right. you don't have to take them off. Got it. That's I mean, it. That was, that was well, really that seems simple. Well, and I like, is it like so de Janeiro. Um, is it pricey? It is very, it is very pricey. So let's give give us a rough rough figure. What are we saying? What are we saying? <laughs> maybe we got maybe Brenda and I can pull some money together. It was about it was a little bit over five hundred dollars. Okay, all right. So um, so maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> look, we like you and everything. Maybe next year. You know, we're gonna give you the year run. <laughs> yeah, you do. Give me one kid for now. We'll see how we do and see. So that that is what I would love. You Got know. It. But um but yeah, I mean they were listen, I feel like, you know, the kids and, and Matt should know me well enough to know well, sure. the stuff that I use, you know, every day or what I love to do and hopefully I will report back on Monday. Okay, well ho hopefully this is su success. Yes. Hopefully it's yes. Su successful. And then yes. one year Matt got me, I was kinda joking this morning, but he got me a chore chart. Right. Not for me to do. This was the chore chart. You can't read it that well, but there's four boys on the side, right. and then obviously the days of the week across the top. Okay. And what he did was he assigned each son a chore so that I wouldn't have to do it. Now, it. I remember getting this for the Mother's Day and thinking, wait a second. Yeah. Shouldn't we be doing this year round? Right. Why is this, why is this just as a Mother's Day gift? Yeah. He saw it as, listen, I want to help you. Okay. I, I, this is what I, I don't want you to be stressed and sure. overwhelmed. I want to take all this off your plate. Now, and ask me how long this has been instituted. Well, I'm, I'm assuming it probably was like about 30 seconds, if that. Yeah. So yeah. that's it. That was it. Yeah. So was that the only present that year? I think he got me as well that year, like some plants and stuff. Okay, and some what you hate? Well, I'm not like a big, I'm not like a big gardener. Wow. So, um, but so Matt and I, I, I forget the year it was, but you that remember is still, the year? Okay, it's like 2016. <laughs> but like we still yes, laugh, we still laugh and joke about sure. it all the time because right. he said, you know, he goes, remember the year I get to the chore chart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I, he said this morning, I will die on that hill. Yeah. I still think that's the best gift yeah. I ever could have gotten you. Right. And you know, still to this day, I'm like, it, it's Wednesday. Right. It was dishwasher. Day, right. They all know who it is. Yeah. But everybody says, I don't know, check the chart. Right. As if like it magically moved around. Right. I remember I got my mother one year and, I, and my <laughs> wife still like, would, would, you know, was so upset that I bought her. The, I bought her a weed whacker. Oh my God. <laughs> you don't she get a weed whacker. whacker. <laughs> she liked to Did work. Did she want it? Yes. She, right. she well, liked she asked for And it. she loved to work in the yard. The funny thing is, is she never wanted to use the thing. Like she's like, I, I, how do I use this thing? Oh and I would show God. her, and she still never was able to get it. And we're like, you can't buy your mother a weed whacker. I'm I like, well, can't. I bought her a weed whacker. Uh, you know, listen, I would love a scrapbook. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like a. That, I thought it was lo a lovely gift. I can't find the battery for my <laughs> weed whacker currently. I'll use it. Yes. If Anne Marie doesn't want, I'll, I'll no, come no, by. No, no, this wasn't for Anne Marie. This was my mother. Oh, oh your mother. I'm my sorry. mother. I bought. I'm her. sorry. Yeah. Who liked to work? She liked to work in the yard. It's actually nice. I can't a weed whacker. Yeah. It's like getting a vacuum. I love a vacuum for my birthday. Yeah, like a Roomba. I will tell you, I give my mom the best Mother's Day gift. Yes? I don't see her. Oh. But you know, that's what we were just saying over there. Like, sometimes moms just want a right. day a of nothing. Right. right. Exactly. Right. Okay. He's like, well, I give her a break from me. Sure. But um, I think uh, you just want to show mom that she's loved and appreciated. You know, whether it's a chore chart that won't be 
and forest. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers, whatever it is, some time, some appreciation. I think that's what it's about, right? right. Sure. Come on, moms, do it all. They need to be appreciated and celebrated all year round. Right? Yeah. Although, <laughs> Meg, Ma- 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 I will say right. that Meg sent some flowers this morning. She said, you're my work mom. Oh, that's, that's nice. So, so I thought that was so sweet. Very sweet. Well, thank Meg, you. our producer, she gave did. you flowers. Yeah, yeah. She, well, said, now we... she said, you're my work mom. Huh? Thanks and so I am, lot, I love Meg. her. Yeah. The rest, the of, rest of us look like idiots. Look like what? Yeah. Didn't no. want to say nice. anything. Nice. Oh, too late. That is very sweet. You know, they're actually. It was a private thought that came out. They're actually from all of us. Yeah. Oh. We, all, we all chipped in. Very, very. That's very sweet. Uh oh. Very nice. Oh, Eric. There you go. Oh, come there on. Is. Yes. Eric. Look at this. See? You know, we go off the air at 10. I got to get to the comments. God. <laughs> See what our viewers have to say yeah. about this topic right here this morning. Pauline's up first. And plastic. <laughs> Better than you got. Pauline never dropped hints, never ever. I always say I need nothing but your love, not material things. That's right. Linda adds, my daughters know what I like and are always thoughtful, but now a card and a day spent with family is all I want. What's lovelier than that? Lucy's up next. My mom used to tell me what she would like for special occasions like Mother's Day. Normally it involved having her children and grandchildren gathered together for a meal. So sweet, simple, right to the point. I love it. And Dante closes out the comments today. (laughs) My mother asked, Asks for the same thing every year, a Dunkin' iced coffee, a chocolate bar, and to be left alone for the day. Is that not the trifecta? Rise there, come. <laughs> Way to go, Mama Carpenter. There you go. Thanks for chiming in, everyone, and please keep those comments coming. Why am I leaning? I look like I'm running for political office. Vote Kirby in 2024. Uh, but follow us at The Roadshow, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave your thoughts, and you never know. <laughs> I, your next candidate, may read it right here on the show. And still to come this morning on 